evening. and I'm completely in the dark. Oh well, it's fine. I'm always in the dark. Oh, you know, in the other sense of the word. It's crashing balls, everybody! Oh, like, are we actually live? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're, we're live, pal. Exciting. Yeah, yeah. I can't believe um, that I saw that gimmick infringement from Orange Cassidy the other day. So, on my actual special day, and like I said, we did the celebration the other day, so there's no need for that. We're just having a chilled out Gladiators and watch along on a, a normal Saturday. Poodles say hello, Mr. Yeah, Balls. Yeah, that's why I waved. Balls. I was waving at Poodles. Yeah, we... I've been calling them crashing <laughs> balls. Karen's on the whole time. Yeah, that's what I've. <laughs> oh, nice, nice. Um, everybody, without further ado, are the Gladiators. <laughs> I, mean, I said we don't say anything for the next hour, do we? No. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. Do you feel the power, Steve? No. No, I, I've never felt the power of the gladiators. No. Maybe I've got a spider. Light up my face more, damn it, you stupid screen. It looked really good in the test. You could see me, you could see me, you could see Steve. But this, this is all you get, and it's, it's relaxed, it's chilled. I'm, I'm chilled. So when did you last do one of these? Ages ago, mate. So we don't know what's going on in the series. Oh, they'll catch us up. Oh, still the same place. Awooga! And a very warm mm. welcome to the National Indoor Arena here in Birmingham. Each year our gladiators get stronger, fitter and quicker. And we have to see if we can find contenders. Mm, do they? We know. Do you get stronger every year? Shadow Secret is to get stronger. Because <laughs> usually you get, you get less strong as time goes by. I don't know. Nice. Depends how old you are. How you doing Toad? How you doing Justice? Birmingham. Crazy idea. Let's move that out of the way of my face. Ooh, Canyon Arrows. Meet four of the lucky ones out of 25,000. They are Rachel Colwick and Joe Harrington. You know oh my gosh. See what she just did? No, what she did. She did some flips. That's Jet's gimmick. What's going on with this gimmick infringement? Left, right, and centre these days. Back in my day. Now she actually looks, because they all say I'm 20s, I'm 30s, and they look 50. So, Not this one. That little display there as well, that tells me you're pretty good at gymnastics too, right? That's right, I used to compete, uh, I finished when I was 18, but I competed from when I was about 10. She's got to be good, isn't she? She's a bloody trained gymnast. Well, I know who the favourite in this episode is. An old arrival of lightning. Oh my gosh. Oh, what a story. Great surprise for you to see her on this show. And you thought Arika's, uh, I know you got to meet her tonight. Yeah. Carrying a expecting. with child. I'll enjoy it. Justice. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, Rachel Colwick. Yeah. Leave her alone. <laughs> Some missed it. Are they doing the new gladiators in Birmingham? Have they done it? Now, Joe, you're no from Birmingham. No idea. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about not doing flips when you came out? I mean... What do you do for a living, Joe? I'm a horse riding instructor. And where do you instruct people to ride horses? Um, On horses, John. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm. I, I'm just. I just meant. You know, like. I know Rika was a party animal, Justice, but will you let her just rest and recuperate for a second? Oh, 
Oh my gosh, Ray. Fancy seeing you here. Thank you so much for that raid on uh, a little casual birthday, Gladiators. Watch a long stream. Um, is that lady here? Is the lady here to pick up the thing? Was it a table for this lady? lady. Some lady from Facebook Marketplace come up to cut Ray's uh, table. Ray, thanks so much for that raid. Huge raid party of 18, Steve. 18. Yeah. Hello, everyone. All huge Gladiators fans, obviously. They're human beings. Alf. Don't see another name, Alf. Definitely. Don't see enough Alfs these days. He used to be all over the telly. And now, the rug lady will be 20 minutes. Confirmed? How much of her life story are you going to have to listen to when she gets here, Ray? That is a 90s look. Science teacher. Anything pre HD cameras looks like it was filmed in 1962. <laughs> Look at this classroom as well, man. <laughs> no, it's not worth it. Just, just, um, just throw the next rug out of the window. This guy's uh, quite young and uh, fit looking. Yeah, from Yorkshire. Put the accent down. He's mastered the ultra yeah, accent. He's got the ultra accent, yeah. Getting some food. Nice. What are you having? Well, I've just changed jobs. Phil? Not the Phil, right? No, that... This one looks vaguely from here. I feel like... That's ponytail, Phil. Steve's got a really good memory for gladiator contenders' faces. So sometimes he's like, oh, yeah, this guy's the regional champion five times running. <laughs> this guy looks familiar. I think he's going to win, based on... Some vague memory that again, what well, was it based on this footage from World War Two? Yeah, yeah, storming the yeah, beaches. Storming beaches. I wouldn't mind one of those jeeps over there, you know, so I'm Steady on. Already eyeing up the Canyon Arrow. So they got two, a blue jeep and a red jeep. So we already know who black was one of those, yeah. This is a favorite event for Jet. Let's go. I'm expecting big things from this gymnast woman. That looks like Jet to me. On the right there. Again, Orange Cassidy doing gladiators watch alongs and going on about Jet. We, uh, hello? He just likes America. <laughs> yeah! It's a family show. Mm. She, she never did that. Dead Scorpion. She never did that. She never did the tail. Wolf Junior strongly rumored to be. Is Wolf is Wolf Junior confirmed to be a, a, a new gladiator yet? What's up, Spud Gun? Spud Gun. Great name. I think I think Spud Gun though. I was the originator of, <laughs> of Jet first. <laughs> Jet. I'm excited to see this pink gymnast one. She's got to be like flying up the wall, right? You can't perv on someone justice if. She's your wife. Okay. I must I must call her. Oh no, fucking gymnast woman fell off the first thing she did. This is what happens if you um, do backflips. You set a high standard that you can't maintain. Don't introduce well, look me. Look at her go now. She's caught up. Don't introduce me to a vibe you can't maintain. Oh my god. Louis doing well. Hello. Pinky. Well, well, it's a double sweep for the contenders. Oh, Falling over again. You didn't get the. And then the gymnast contender made a perfect dismount on what was later confirmed to be a broken ankle. She's come back as like general manager for the reboot, right? New Jet. Yeah, Jet, the heel uh, uh, authority figure. Kane. Right. 
Corporate jet. Bald jet. <laughs> Corporate jet. Corporate jet. Hello. Yeah, that's great. There you go, gladiators. There's some free booking for you. I was disappointed with. Oh my gosh. So I'm sorry, but Wolf is one of the best of all time. Yeah, he's he's he'd be the heel that gets cheered and I'll tell you what, I've I I would love to see Jet escort Orange Cassidy to the ring in Wembley. Who's going to Wembley in August? I'll be there. Steve will be there. Potentially, yeah. Where what about you? It's a 3D stream, we're gonna be like yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you've got to really engage viewers. You've got to be like, ah, coming right up. Yeah. It's a waste, right? People with such natural talent. Surely Warrior can't climb. 90% upper body, isn't it? Right? Well, exactly. One you need jump to climb, didn't you? Hello. That head start is insane. It's too long. Um, 21 stone, Warrior. The pressure on the gladiators, though, because they do do this every day. These guys have definitely got more mm, builds, body builds than me. Even if Wolf wasn't like the best worker, his character is like you're ninety percent of the way there already, and a lot of wrestlers don't have the character that Wolfman had. I mean, yeah, but then the thing is, though, that me and Pachiti would turn on each other and start breaking up each other's covers. Oh, you do, Spud Gun! That's awesome. It, again, is it in Birmingham? Was that confirmed? That's awesome. I went to Gladiators one time back in the day in the National Indoor Arena in Birmingham. Steve, I've got some Coachella notes here. Oh, yeah, go on. <laughs> I was watching uh, some Coachella, everybody, some live Coachella last night. As it turned midnight, my special day. Steve and I, we went to Coachella 2007 to see Rage Against the Machine get back together. But how was it in general? It was the best, best festival I've ever been to, I reckon. Other than the crippling heat. Yeah, it was really hot, Californian desert and stuff like this, but uh, got some... Uh, <laughs> Um, yeah, uh, so obviously I'm a, I like my rock music. I tune in to see this uh, Young Blood, because a lot of electronic DJ acts at Coachella, which is fine. But I tune into this Young Blood, and obviously, <laughs> hold on, let's, let's okay. Wolf's to Wolf's point in. Quiet! Uh, we'll continue Coachella review in just a second. Sheffield, huh? And, um, well, it's happened again, hasn't it? Quiet! <laughs> <laughs> I've got no excuses. He was very fast. I believe you're having a baby. Face turn. And I just want, I just want to say congratulations. Oh. <laughs> Oh, no, he's just going to eat her like an actual wolf. <laughs> I just want to say, I can't wait to eat the litter. I mean, oh, I can't wait till you deliver. But yeah, young blood. So you take a look at him, you think, oh, who's this manufactured rock star? But let's give him a chance, right? He does this song called Anarchist, Steve. It didn't rip off. It, it ripped off not one, but two Coldplay songs. Fix you and trouble. Right, gonna do too but I mean, <laughs> might as well do those two. What are you stealing from Coldplay? <laughs> the biggest <laughs> band in the world. That's it, right? Ain't big. Man, I just thought it was insane. Um, but yeah, obviously, fix you and more. <laughs> two bangers. Well, <laughs> absolute bangers. But speaking of one of the biggest bands in the world, do you hear about this Radio One DJ not knowing who Dave Grohl was? You must love Powerball being a sportsman. It's, it's, it's very it's sport, isn't it? Sport. Oh, well, that was a good shot. Slightly unfair sport, though, because three gladiators doesn't divide up very well with two places. Yeah, Dean, Mag Dean McGullough. 
like was on a live thing on Radio 1 and it's like oh and, and that's Dave Grohl and he goes who? it's like Dave Grohl and he goes should I know who Dave Grohl is? yes yes you should I mean um <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> oh no we've got injury oh come on Joe it's the big leagues does that mean I mean obviously like some, just go straight through someone work someone working at Radio 1 not knowing a lot about music I, I am shocked <laughs> but Steve we have public publicly funded this ignorance Dave Grohl he's like as prominent now as he is well someone tweeted oh oh everyone expecting people working on the radio to know everything about every artist ever you should you should know who Dave Grohl is if you work as a DJ at Radio 1 we're not talking about some obscure act to hear yeah but um, yeah, Coachella's coverage on their channel, on their YouTube channel for free, is incredible. Every stage has got its own channel, and there's no annoying BBC presenters who don't know who Dave Grohl is to ruin it. Jupiter's. No, Phil Jupiter's. You, you didn't see him making those mistakes. Cheat attacks on going for all the ages boost. She's killing it. Which is where it's all the. Double digits already. Injury note. Yeah, where did it get her? Nowhere. Oh no, we're taking on the Grand National. It's a Grand National. We can't compete with that. She's the fastest. Well, I tell you, Simpson, whirlwind. Was it lightning? It's whirlwind. Thank you for being here, everybody. Despite the Grand National being on, we're just doing a very short Gladiators Watch Along stream today, just to say hi. Steve's here. He's very sweet. Comes to visit my birthday, so I thought I'd share him with the world. We can guarantee no horses will be killed during this, which the Grand National cannot guarantee. I haven't told you what's for lunch yet. I love a horse coke. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Screw the Grand National. <laughs> Just let them run free afterwards. Run free. The, I, the only bit I like is when the jockeys fall off and the horses carry on. And it looks like they're like, I think they're still in the race. What do you think of the men's gladiators' outfits from back there, in the day? There, was, there was her eyes were drawn. Yeah, not only is there, is there a significant package happening left, right, and centre, but the, the little um, the two piece, was... the little skimpy sports, the training bra. Yeah, yeah. They, sh know. they shouldn't be training. Still. At least it, it, I think it makes it, it gives you, more, it, it lets you off a little bit when you're perving over the ladies because the men are just as perfectly dressed, aren't they? Dude, when Rhino and Raider debuted, I was, the pictures of them in the program that I bought nearly took my eye out. Steve Hogg. Oh, so being such a little Steve Hogg. Yeah, where is uh, just, where where is Hogg? What is he? He's like, I'll oh, just whack around with the trailer or something like that. Uh, you should see you see this uh, thing that Steve does. He calls it a mayo Steve. Okay, yeah, it gets a little. You'll never see me with mayonnaise. Steve hates mayonnaise. Yeah. Um, and that's fine. And that's fine. Quite a lot of people. Mm. Yeah. You don't. Do you hate eggs? I don't love you. They love you. Mm. Bra is worse than the package. Um, it depends on what angle you're coming at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the bra's just great. Why not? Think about bras. Make them a little bit less threatening, because especially during an event like this or Gauntlet, if Shadow. Eyes bulging with all the taken steroids, and he's coming at you. Give me a little bit of. Is this his last season, do you reckon? Season three? Season three. Um, Where's the back kick? Where is he getting fired? I don't know. He doesn't just leave someone else. I don't know. I think it's soon, though, man. What is this, 94? I think this is his last year, yeah. Mm. There was a lot of crime afterwards, so maybe they should have kept him in the he Gladiators program. He was my favourite as a kid, because he was unstoppable. Yeah, he was. Because of the drugs. <laughs> it's the drugs. Yeah, so 
Just stand a chance. He does look familiar, doesn't he? Phil Millier. He, I bet he's in like one of the International Gladiators episodes. Maybe this was the last episode we streamed on this channel. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe Orange has done it recently. Yeah, yeah, Orange. Thanks for the birthday wish they do. That was really sweet. Of this is 3D. T yeah, this is what I'm talking about. All the people in the front row. Forget about it. Hey, forget about it. Someone's at the front door. Ooh. Someone's at the front door. Oh no. Oh no. And finally, launch my new stream, which wasn't the plan to do. I can assure you, this event is not a pyramid event. Our model is the rhombus. Um, this, this, is not. this is the event that Joe injured herself on. Because people are kind of doing backwards German like, suit each other off of Now Steve, what's in, what's in here? It's a birthday present for you. It's a birthday present from the good people at Amazon. So, uh, 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 yeah, nothing, yeah, 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 nothing, nothing, nothing uh, incriminating in there. No, 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 not that it would be. Found a heroin. Not that it would be. Until he until he yells a wooga spud gun, and then he's got all the, go. charis all the charisma. I'll do it after. It is though. crazy, isn't it? You like just grab and then down they go. I mean, it's why when Gladiators came back, they had the water to drop into because it, was, it must have been so much safer. Because this Gladiators in this form, you wouldn't be able to get cleared with health and safety these days. <laughs> this they're like, they're like power bombing each other and German suplexing off the top. And yeah, Jack got a back or neck injury and she's like, I'm done. Hello. This is the only way to do it. You top all the way down and hope you land the right side. Slow falling hug. Yeah, exactly. She's got it now, she's got it. Go, this is your chance. The knee are in the side. <laughs> Run off the then right to the left. It's supposed to be a gymnast, do a flip. Look at this! This is it! Sunset flip, tumbling power bomb, no! She's so close. She looks knackered, man, she's gassed. She's gassed. You don't, did you get any points for anything other than getting to the top? Um, Let me do, do you. What, for showing up? For just being like, on the crew at the end. All right, while we wait for the men, this is a birthday present from Steve. This is a shoot present on that thing. Yes. On stream. Wait, what's oh. Got all the, all the Amazon trimmings. Oh yeah. It did look like wrestling. A gift from Steve. Happy birthday from Steve. Don't <laughs> put your name on this stuff anymore. Uh, Steve says. Steve. Steve. Don't want anyone else getting any ideas. Amazing. Who did he steal a wooga from? I mean, I have no doubt. I have no doubt, but who did he get it from? Well, that'd be amazing if he stole a wooga. He doesn't even have a wooga. That'd be incredible. <laughs> It'd be amazing if he stole the wooga. Oh, Justice is saying that he did originate a wooga. I think. Took it from Craig Charles on Cyberzone. Oh, oh wow. That's the, yeah, I know, Craig Charles on Cyberzone. No, I've seen what's in the back. What's in the back? Oh, Steve, you know how much I love these movies. Mm. Ultra HD 4K. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. the amazing modern Planet of the Apes trilogy. Yeah. Dude, that's what it is. <laughs> Steve and I are the only ones, the only adult men that I know. <laughs> we just continued exchanging birthday presents. Don't do it with any other friends. And, uh, you know, obviously, <laughs> most of my family members too are like, Sorry, where's your what, Chris? Get out, get out of here, get out of here. <laughs> Hit with a broom. But dude, I was, I was thinking about doing this the other day. Oh, well, I don't have them on 4K. I've only got one or two on Blu-ray. You guys love these movies? Slowly building up your 4K collection, year by year. And then, 
the next one that comes along yeah. will be like 10k for the apes Chris I'm like oh, happy 50th birthday to me well I can't wait no those movies are, those movies are great who is it um, he's doing the sexy dancing I don't want to know probably a cobra up there isn't it? <laughs> yeah because even though because at the time this is 90s thinking and we would have all thought the same you're like he's got cobra's legs you're like, you're, it's soft it's padded you'll be fine but you're still going to land compressed on your neck on that stuff you're still yeah. fucked I mean, up just didn't, didn't you? I think that was the origination no. let him go. So it's not his helmet no that's you got to stop the... His helmet turned blue. John Anson, you got to stop the match. John Anson, you got to stop the match. Yeah, you, could, you could die anyway. Because you can't win without your helmet on. You can't win without a hat hard on. But they all got their hats off. Hats off to the gladiators. I'm not sure they understood the meaning of that phrase. Oh. Lost years and that guy. Hey, what? What's going on? Stop! I mean, they're not even stopping the event with the helmet to come off. Wow. I like how Kabuse is far too happy about everything. Yeah, what, what secrets is he hiding? Oh, God. What skeletons are in his closet? Just, I'll tell you what, no skeletons, just lots of Seeker trainers. Chris Ackerson. Chris Ackerson. I used to love Seeker. Well, Seeker trainers were what was bought for me as a kid, so therefore I used to love Seeker trainers. <laughs> Ball boy shoes. I was Seeker. I can't remember, but anyway. Yeah, Blink Mate 2 played Coachella, right? And I'm so happy that Mark Hopper spilt, beat his battle with cancer. So happy. I'm big way too. So, so happy. Obviously, maybe, maybe. that goes without saying. But when they come out and they do their shit, piss, fuck, cunt song, and man, they're like old geezers going, fuck, bad, <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, oh no. Never, yeah, it's not, uh, it's not music to be sung no. by old men, is it? It's a, it's a problem with punk as you get older but they were always very juvenile and that's been my problem with Blink I love them as a kid then you grow up and you're, and you're a bit turned off by that and, and, as you should be that said I've still got happy memories from some old Blink songs they sounded better as the show went along Travis as always takes that band to like a, a new level but yeah it's Tom DeLong who's like herpes but and you're like uh huh should we put that <laughs> Well, he did say, don't go. He said he accidentally went to a Dalai Lama kissing booth. Don't go there. And I'm like, that Dalai Lama stuff. Freaky. Yeah, what's been, what's been going on with that guy? I don't know what's been looking at. Now, I don't think we've seen yet the debut of Gladiator Ace, but the Gladiator Ace did do a run in at the first wrestling show that I ever went to in Crystal Palace. Are these babies Hunter's babies then? Or Rika's babies. I hope so. I was going to knee him. I mean, you must get close to. Mm, maybe not. I'm not a professional. Can you believe it? Oh no. It's the stupidest event. It's the like, poor man's jewel. Let's take Jewel, cut the pugil sticks in half so it's shit, and then let's design a vehicle that's based off the. Uh, the mouse pointer on a Windows a PC. <laughs> yeah. And then make them move stupidly. Um, I suppose her balance is going to help her in this event, in the futuristic space bikes that they're riding. You hope so. You have them, Justice. Finally, you've got them. Did they make a pair of those Back to the Future 2 ones that actually did have pretty impressive um, self tying laces? Because obviously that's. Uh, that's kind of the I'm interested in. They did do something like that, didn't they? Wait for it. <laughs> yeah. It's so lame, isn't it? They barely connect. They can't connect. There's no reach on those little sticks. It's like a little crappy thing, though, right? <laughs> this is the best. And then they just turn around. <laughs> Why not? Oh no! <laughs> the fucking Bronco. Of course, the uh, Gladiator soundtrack that uh, Toad, Toad Kavitz was Straight in there, isn't he, John? Oh, not another injury. See, I don't remember this back in the day of there being so many injuries. Because you, as you're a kid, you just think it's all perfectly fine and safe and stuff. What happened to her? She landed on a big crash map. Of course, you, um, Owen, Owen Halfways. Of course, you never want to see um, 
of injury uh, in the uh, futuristic sport of uh, bike jousting. Of course, uh, Brock Lesnar, um, for uh, this kind of carnage king, but not, not quite like that. <laughs> the worst bit of... Well, hobbies kind of... Justice is ridiculous, isn't it? Shall we start, it's starting to get a bit warm in this room. Do I need to... Uh, I need to get a perfectly silent fan. Do they sell those? Oh, what was that? Do you think that was it? Oh, shit! Is she out? No. No, just... Oh, I don't know! Dude, she looks like she's been knocked loopy by that! By a bloody... What the? Half inflated... Hold on. Because she did, it was because it started spinning. Right. Yeah, short time. <laughs> That's what, yeah. Look at that. Look at that guy. Mr. 90s is her boy. Look at the tucked man. As soon as we have any further information, we'll let you. The tucked in jumper. <laughs> Drama in this episode. Though, it's been, it's been, uh, it's been a special night. Off the hook. Right off the hook. But Scorpio's not getting let off the hook here. I suppose that, again though, you want to... As a horsewoman. <laughs> as a horsewoman. Quite a compliment. You feel, yeah. So after this, we're we just going to jump straight into the Apes trilogy. Apes trilogy, of course. They were apes! Is that allowed? I mean, she's using her horse balance. <laughs> As a horse person. Well, this is actually genuinely right up her uh, yeah, bridle path. Nice. Oh, just, there it is. Five seconds longer than I had to. Five seconds. That was on our advertised stream. Yeah, I don't know if I'll be back tomorrow. The call of Resident Evil 4 may be strong, but if not, Monday gear solid. I don't, know why, I, don't know, I don't know why, why Dr. Richard Sitthorpe made me laugh there. I recognise that guy. They were filming casualty next door, so there were doctors in as well. Well, we know we're going into Hang Tough. Yeah, is that, is that Charlie? It's Hang Tough! Obviously, I want to do it. You know the lady that fell off last year? She, she, had a, she had a bit of time to recover. Yeah. Um, back on. Um, back on. Have we got a belt that we can put on? We'll have no pressure. Man. Support. These guys are great. I just like the... the Their time to the shine. It's just so much more risky, isn't it? In the, it's just like, ah, oh, that'd be fine. In terms of television making as well, back in the day. The shit that they, they were just... Man. That you just can never, ever, ever, ever do now. Anyway. So sorry. Sorry. I think she's done. We need a Rachel sub. Take it easy. Okay. Demo Jet to contender just, just for the week. Nigel, massive name in TV production. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The name. As soon as I saw his face, I was like, I recognise that guy. As soon as I heard his name, I said, I recognise the name of that guy. See the one from Pop Stars? Justice, uh, maybe. My gosh, Dean, that's what a man looks like. Trojan. <laughs> Trojan, uh, he's a bit boring, maybe, Trojan. yeah, he's not. Cobra's the. Jesus. Oh man, he's battering. And Red's gonna do himself a mischief. He's gonna fly off that bike with one of those uh, stray swings. Man, but Wolf Junior is never gonna be able to emote. Like his father, is he? One of the world's best emoters. Let's get injury. It's dull, isn't it? And if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And they're, they're obviously like not going to put Jewel in an episode where this is on. But just put Jewel in. Because especially if you're going to a Gladiator show, you want to see Stone Cold Steve Austin. You want to see Jewel. Yeah. Currently produces American Idol. Sounds like him. I, I tell you what, I was blown away that Orange Cassidy was watching the UK Gladiators as well. But I said, "Oh, any birthday shout out?" And his whole chat like, "Happy birthday, happy birthday!" And I'm like, "Oh man!" Nice. 
and then he saw it. Still there. He, Orange Cassidy is from the business of pro wrestling, so he will know about gimmick infringement. That's the last thing I want to say. Didn't have to say anything else. See, that mum, she's going to be 40s. She looks 70s, but she's going to be 40s. Trojan sex on legs. I don't really like that phrase. Is there something else, 100% milk or something? 100% milk. What did it say? The rest oh, that's the, volume, is it? That's the sign. 100% hunk. 100% hunk. That makes more sense. That's why the soundtrack CD is the must-own compact disc of 1994. It's got all the Gladiator songs, it's got some pop smash hits, like uh, a Queen medley. They've just got nowhere to fall. I can't believe that girl fell off like she did, because you're so stable on there, and you've got such a wide surface area base, don't you? Yeah, and every year, Toad. Thank you again for that. Uh, it's not that tough. Well, it's such a great event. The drama isn't it, with a contestant's going to make it. Now, obviously, I'm sad not to see Jet, but Lightning is so, so, so amazing at Hang Tough. She's the boss, she? and the boss, and the boss, and the boss. Getting this far, getting on gladiators, I had to just like give that up for temporary time. I could do that. Yeah, this next one. What's yeah? And pulling a pint? Yeah. yeah. I put I pour a great pint. Thank you, Steve. Awesome. Bar experience. You ever work in a bar? Camping shop. Oh, I was in a camping shop. Yeah. What's in the millets? Millets, and we used to work at Safeway. Yeah, worked in a bar. I had no interest in ever worked. Why don't you? It's, it's just insane. the no-handed cartwheel. Yes. I can't do a two-handed yeah, cartwheel. Yeah. Obviously, we do that final event with the Eliminator, but remind, re kind of remembering how amazing that line is as a lyric in the Eliminator song is incredible. Let's go. Lining The grace. Lining really took that 80s huge like hair metal band hair. She was kicking and screaming into the nineties with that hair. Into wow. the into the scoring zone already. That's incredible. Lightning's yeah. lightning's gonna come. Yeah. It's too good. The way lightning moves up there is like she was born hanging yeah. tough. The little movements early on it's to crazy. get into position. It mad. Not since Roger Federer at Wimbledon have I seen such sport excellence. And again, for me not being a sports guy, watching Gladiators as a kid, you're just like, it, my nan was like, oh, it's too much like wrestling. And I was like, that's ridiculous. It's too much. Because <laughs> they're very different, but I know what she, you can see the presentation is very similar. Oh, yeah, they're, they're, it's not quite as, I'd be not as silly as wrestling. But now that you're, uh, as an adult, knowing how difficult that kind of physical prow, prowess is. Yeah. Let it, yeah, the legs are so long, and they. It's just the, the, the pinpoint accuracy of the swing, the apex, the angle into slice. The accident you had falling off the joust has rendered you incapable of carrying on, I understand. That's right, I'm afraid. That's why Ulrich is going to be stepping in. Oh my god, Fash. Fash, what he did. We've seen Fash in, a, in an episode. It was great. <laughs> Very calm and you look very composed. It certainly I'm happened. It's only, it's only an event. I am. I'm very, very, very upset, but as long as Joe can carry on with my points and get through, then that's all that matters. Well, you've had is, some is great it, support here what? over there. Is there a, I hope that uh, your a sub coming in? I hope so. Yeah. Oh, just, welcome to our next I still might upload video. the Eliminator song with lyrics because <laughs> someone uploaded it to YouTube, but like. A week after I got the CD, so I should have acted quick. I don't think I had the internet in the house at the time because I just moved in. But they spelt it wrong. It's like E L E M Eliminator. Eliminator. So I might still upload it with the lyrics. Back up. Backups, right? Yeah, don't like backups. Don't like backups. Imagine. 
just come from Crewe, but my hometown is Blackpool, Lancashire. So obviously I have no supporters here tonight because I've come on last minute. Oh, no supporters. Kind of turning into a, turning her into a bit of an underdog. How you say underdog? Rachel's a big game, of course. Okay, I'll do the best I can for you. Oh, how's she? Okay, I want some support. It's for me, please. Thank you. Yeah, she didn't do it back. Who's that, Steve Redgrave? Uh, Steve McLaren. Why do we always do that? Steve Redgrave is the boatist. He's the brother, yeah. Oh, five time Olympic champion. Five time. Five time. He's the book of tea of rowing. Yeah, no backflipping. Yeah, but that backflip. That backflip. Look, what was the point of it? Look where it got you. No. She riding horses. That's her 32 year old mum there. <laughs> and again. Straight into the, the jaws of the lion. Well, and the gladiators do double duty, but do you think it's going to affect lightning? Not one. She had a break as well as they do all that. Well, now lightning's going to give her a break. He's got a cheeky little face. She has got a cheeky little face. He's like, oh, get out of here, you. It's just, it's just, it's not a it's already over. Before we've even done one How does she do it, though? I don't, like I said, it, it looks so easy. Look at it, it looks so. It's this, this is a bit here. It's these little adjustments here. She's not the same. She's doing the same again. The quick. And you're what fighting the against trap? the momentum. You have to oh have the perfect god. momentum. Where are you going? Oh my god, it's like it's like me and my perfect rhythms do. Did you know we've been streaming for 15 minutes and seven seconds? Hello. Oh, she's giving the slip! <gasps> it's, it's too long though, it's yeah. too much time. The recovery. You can't survive. No, there's a second. If you if you give lightning the slip, you've got a second if that and then. Don't let us down. Pride of Britain. She's in the scoring zone. Like a little one-handed. Yeah, I know. Well, she's just floundering a bit. I don't know. Yeah, after all this. So it's over. She's... Maybe this is her first ever defeat. <gasps> she's drawing. Oh. Is it a defeat or a draw? It's... Uh, well, well, she doesn't get the 10 points, no. but she gets the five points for being in the scoring zone. Fucking rubbish. <laughs> Jewel. Jewel versus Jewel. They could have had a replacement that didn't have the same name as that. Uh oh. Right? No smiles from Shadow. Good bra. Ever. So much bra. It's the eyes, man. Dead before you hit the ground. Yeah. He just jumps straight off. Doesn't even use the rings. Well, we're disappointed by that lightning performance. Listen. Big man. <laughs> you leave her out. Oh. Yeah. Oh no. no. You never want to be stuck on one ring with a gladiator no. looming down on you. Once you're in the the body scissors. Yeah. <laughs> I know he could make a fortune toad, but he doesn't. And that's the tragedy. Yeah. Just waste it on gladiators. What a weird like steroids to, for gladiators. Oh, it's no achievement. This is there. <laughs> well, no achievement. But it's not like steroids to win Olympic gold or something, is it? Steroids to be well, slightly better. There's at... less on the line. He probably thought with something like even... gladiators, it's not really going to matter because it's not. Why is it even illegal? It's not going yes. for a gold. Well, you've got to. You've got... Well, the the WWF steroid scandal had just happened, so That's they were probably true. like. We're still really from. And don't forget. Ben Johnson. I don't. I don't even want to go into what Shadow did with the Ring Boys. Hello. You cut me. Wow. Oh my god. Wow. It was nearly brilliant. That was that was something else. It was else. good effort. You cut me out bleed steroids. Do I not bleed steroids? Oh boy. <laughs> I want to know how old that lady was. <laughs> you know what's up next. What do we get? The final event. What's what do we get in there? Hopefully we'll have a little... Um, Usually we get bits where they show them. Now when I hear the version without the lyrics, it's weird. By the way, me and Limbo me in a bar. It's time, guys. Welcome back to the end. Hello, Mrs. Justice. Really is the best event. You take good care of him, you hear? Now in the women's event, Joe Joe Joe. Mrs. Justice, it's uh, Crashing Boss. He's world famous. On this, on this 
Hummus. It is culture. Well, famous. Mm-hmm. Hummus. In the pink outfit, you will go Science. on my first whistle. Joel, in the blue outfit, you will go on Go on route for the, 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 the contestant that's actually done all the events, right? Yeah. Two. On Bluey. One. Once they have some rumor coming, you know, they actually invented the other way. Turn off this guitar bit. Oh shit. By the way, the eliminator is here to stay. He gets uh, sexist. Give it your best. Well, nowadays you get the women on a handbike. For sure. Because, yeah, it is. Yes, it is. They can go. I'm like saying, uh, women, they were never sailors. They won't be able to handle the cargo net, neither. I think he's... Yes. It's got the lyric trampoline in it. Trampoline, rolling beam. Man, if you were lo- losing to an understudy, like, they're so fresh, aren't they, as well? That's not fair. It's weird, but what else are you supposed to do? If the gymnast was on, she could have done flips across this. Yeah. Glorious. But she, she, she blew it all in the intro. Oh my god! Uh, it's a little hard to be happy. <laughs> yeah, it's no show, isn't it? You've ruined the game. This is why I got cancelled. You've ruined it. Oh no. She's Come on, tired. Joe. Be like Joe. I don't like it when they change that thing to the. I like it when it was the one solid bit of paper yeah, with the Gladiators yeah. logo and they come bursting through. I wonder if she's going to be a bit tough. She's like, well done. Tired eye. Best man won. Look, Eureka, now you're just stealing lyrics from the Eliminator song itself. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm really pleased yeah, the potato, the paper potato waffle, it's, it's, it's lame. There's tears. Yeah, because they would just come bursting through all of a sudden. You'd be like, whoa! Through the logo as well. I wish I had a logo with the G on it now. Me and my brother kept our yellow foam fingers for a long, long time. Too, too long. Too right, yeah. We look forward to that. Well done, Joe! It's rode on the coattails of... Yeah, rubbish. Worst. Not well enough. Also, let's not forget that the trampoline didn't even make the final version of the Eliminator. But I mentioned it in the lyrics. She, she wouldn't be watching this, would she? No, she wouldn't. She'd be watching the Grand National. Men, 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 men. That's a lifetime in the Eliminator. Have oh, you got enough chalk on you, dude? Fucking hell, I've seen his legs! Oh, yeah. Either that or he's been poof, partying with Shadow. <laughs> I'm excited. See if this guy that I'm begging Look at his legs! Yeah, That's where Shadow grabbed <laughs> And yeah, you'd think it's chalk. No. Just sneezed on Okay! Nothing. Just say Just go with it. I'll catch Ken on the net. We'll see you both. We'll see you, won't we? Like to see you at the end. Nice. Get ready, everyone. It's the intimidating t- t- size of Kim. Height. It's been good. Do you love It's the final eliminator. It's the final event of the final event. It's pretty tense. Three, two, one. Not great. It's all legs and eat. Bit all over the place. Right. Look at that technique. That's what that's what you want to say. No one got today, please. Fucking hell. Ken's uh bottling it. Plus this is uh, this is perfect for the body man. Still though, it must be. He's gonna have the lead. The lead. He is all legs, isn't he? Look at him! He's all legs. <laughs> it's like when you hold the dog out the window and he's like this. Bambi did it. Still gonna make you go quicker. Look at us. Armchair athletes. Oh, as well. Crush pass, pass, pass me another crisp. He's getting absolutely whooped. Yeah, he's stuck. He's tired of the lead. lead. Now he's. Uh... 
This is why I remember this blue guy. He's the greatest of the greatest of the history. Oh, that, that haircut is Ken's a choice. Still up there. Nah, easy. So Look at him. Take his time. He might as well have given it around oh, the order. Jesus. Oh. Oh, cheeky. Bam. That was great stuff. Oh, here he goes. Still though, those legs. It's too late. He had an advantage on travel. It was too late. He did not have legs, ironically. Yeah, it's Oh, she's in tears. Maybe it does mean something. After all, Steve. Yeah, get in touch. Did she just say got a fabulous body? Oh, no, I mean, bullseye. You can't beat a bit of bully. Hey, everyone, thanks for joining me and Steve for a little quick and prompt Gladiators watch along. This is Steve. Hello, or well, goodbye, should I say. Back for Wednesday, maybe. Everyone, enjoy the rest of your uh, weekend. Uh, yeah, cheers, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your uh, weekend. Don't forget the Joker. And remember, the final event is the Eliminator. Um, I've been Saga Fox, it's been Crashing Balls, and you've been the best. See ya! And tonight at nine, Bradders and the Brain Boxes are here for the chase.